So now we're on to page three, which is the elephant page. So this is, we're going to be making this flap and then there's going to be a pocket here and then there's going to be a pocket here. So like that, so not too complex. So let's start with this flap. You're going to cut a piece six and a half inches tall by six and a quarter inches wide. Put it in your scoreboard, six and a quarter inch on top. You're going to Scored half an inch at five and three quarters. Is that correct? Five and three quarters. Is that what we're doing? Yes, five and three quarters. Fold, burnish. And get our score tape on here. So what you're going to do with this flap, here is the spine. You're going to be adhering this all the way to basically flush with the edge on this side. So just kind of get it lined up, make sure it's straight and that these line up side to side. So I got that flap in. So there's the flap. So next we're going to make an inside pocket. So what we're going to do is you're going to cut a piece two and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches long. And then since it's a pocket, you're going to score it half an inch, half an inch, and half an inch. Oops. Burnish and fold all three sides. Make sure this fits properly in here, top to bottom, top. Okay, good. Then we're going to miter those pocket corners. So we decrease the bulk, make sure there's no overlapping in the corners. I've got a little bit of overlapping because I can't cut straight. Let's see, that looks good. Same thing on this side. Trim a little bit more off there. Boy, I cannot cut straight today. I'm not sure. I can't. I just can't see black. I'm black. Ah, it's just so hard for me to see. That's good. Good. And then I always kind of um, miter these top parts of the pocket too, so things go in easier, like that. Okay, so where, where are you going to put this? Where are you going to put this? So when you open this up, you see that this closes right over that pocket. So where this, we're gonna draw a line where this flap closes, since you can't even see it because it's black on black, I'm gonna draw a line. That's where it closes, right where that line is. That's where we're going to adhere our pocket. So we're going to put our score tape on. Remember, only do the back flap first and put it just right up to 
that line. So let me get my tape on. So I have my tape on and what I'm going to do is just do the back side first, the bottom part of the pocket. So make sure it lines up top to bottom and then we can pull the tape. I can, oh, can't even get that tape. I think what I'm going to do is put some Elmer's glue on the back of this so I can move it if I need to. I don't trust me. I can't see very well black. I can't see very well anyway, but on black to black, I really can't see. And I put way too much glue. <sighs> I'll rub that off. Okay. So, <laughs> um, top to bottom. Let's get that squared up. And get that flap under. Put that flap under there. Oh my gosh. I got it on the flap. Dum dum. Okay, don't do that. Something was wrong. Okay. On the inside page, you're going to put the pocket. I just have a hard time working with black on black. Let me rub that glue off. Be covering it with paper anyway, but it when I do that. That's why I do not like glue. I am not a glue person. Anyway, so we have our we have our pocket in. So let's see if it that is that looks good. So now I'm going to put my black construction tape. So now we have black on black on black. So we're going to put that here. I'm sure you guys can see this. And pull it to the other flap. Where's my cutter? Where's my cutter? I pull these and then I'm just sliding the paper under so I can go ahead oh shoot yeah that's that's okay that's okay great can't do that very well so close the pocket here good So that is going to be the inside. Now what I did for the inside, I used, oh, this is, this is from the 12 by 12. This is the eight by eight. So this is the 12 by 12. Uh, let me see if I have another one. Actually, this was from the patterns and solids. It's the same size as the 12 by 12, but for whatever reason, the color from the 12 by 12 
was a little bit more vibrant than the 8x8 and the patterns and solids. I'm not sure, but this one's from the patterns and solids, but it's, it's the same size as this from the 12 by 12. It doesn't really matter. So what I did is I made a continuous picture using this scene. I just love this, this scene. So I started from this end and the way I cut it is, if you can see, I started how many inches up from the bottom? So I cut off like three quarters of an inch from the bottom. So three quarters of an inch from the bottom here. And then I just measured it up. This is six and a half, so it's going to be six and three eighths. So I just measured it up and cut it. So I had this one big solid piece. And you should have enough paper to, to cover this. Before you add this piece, what do you need to do? You hear that? So before you add the pocket um, cover piece and this, you're going to add magnets. Where did I put the magnets? I put the magnets, let me show you. There and there. So I have two pairs of, of magnets and then the counterpart is over there. So you're going to put magnets here, here, and transfer them over to here and here. And I don't want to cut this paper. So beautiful, you can almost frame, frame, frame this. It's just so beautiful. So cut it up um, three quarters of an inch up from the bottom, and then you're just going to measure it six and three eighths, and then just cut it till you need to trim it. So however long that's going to be. And what you're going to do is you're going to first cover the pocket. So you're going to cover, cut a piece that is going to cover your pocket. And what I did, the next piece, I slipped in a little bit underneath, underneath the pocket just to cover up that big, that lip right at the beginning here. So I just cut, slipped it under just a little bit and then made sure I cut it right before we got to the fold here and then added the other piece on this side. So you'll have enough to slide it under. I mean, we're talking about, look how much I slid it under, not very much. What is that? Half an inch max, half an inch just to go under, but the tree still connects pretty much um, like that. So I just wanted a continuous seam going all the way across. Start with the pocket, then do this piece, slide it under just a tad, just a tad, cut it, and then stay away from the hinge here, add the, the last piece, like that. And that's basically it for the inside. For the outs, and make sure you, if you want a ribbon, I always use those ribbons so people know to pull. Make sure when you put that ribbon, I put my ribbon three inches up from the bottom. Three inches up, because I wanted to clear this pocket, because we're gonna be putting a pocket in here. So ribbon goes three inches up, add your magnets, on the inside here, here, transfer them over to here, here. Make sure you have your ribbon inside here. Cut your paper, voila. This is from the eight by eight. This is this. So basically all I did was trim a little bit off the top here so you can see how much I trimmed. 
I mean, just a little bit. I just kept a little bit. And I, this is what you see at the bottom where they're walking. I didn't do any trimming here. I kept this the same. What I did do is I trimmed it right. Measure the paper. This is going to go out. Five and three quarters. Is that what I got? Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Yep, so I I stopped it right before I got the elephant in. That's going to be important. You want the elephant in. So measure it all the way across, five and three quarters. Cut it like this. Make sure you ink all your edges and put that paper down. Then we're going to make a pocket. But you don't really want to make that pocket till this is all done so we know exactly where it needs to hit. So now we're going to work on this little pocket right here. So you've got your flap done. You've, you've put all the paper in here. Got your pocket in here. I just put this little circle from the 12 by 12 collection in here. I'm going to add some more stuff there. That closes, you got your magnets, you got your ribbon. So now we're just gonna make this pocket. So this pocket, you're going to cut a piece three and five eighths inches wide by three and a half inches tall and score it half an inch, half an inch. Now I'm not gonna score it half an inch quite yet because I'm going to make sure that's where I need to put it. That's closed. I'm going to fold this. And since this is all black on black, oh my goodness. So I want to line this pocket up with the edge here. And I want to make sure that where I put my square mark is going to clear this flap here. So I'm just going to make a tick mark with a pencil. So that's lined up here. And I know I want this pocket to clear this flap. So I'm going to put, oops, wow. Wow, Carla. <laughs> that was so crooked. This is pretty pathetic, Carla. Oh my God. Look how crooked. Well, since I can't see. So that's about where the line is. That squiggly line. Let's see if that is about a half an inch. Um, two, two, two. I'm gonna try it right there. a half an inch. It's a little less than a half an inch, but let's let's fold it and see. You can always make it a little bit smaller. That looks good right there. You can't see, but it's clearing it's clearing that. And I want, I want this to be kind of right up next to it like this. If you can see where the pocket, the pocket is right neck, right there is this pocket and it's right lined up with that flap. So this that you cannot see is lined up here and it's basically lined up over on this side like that. So you got that little space in between the flap and the pocket. So that's pretty good. So that's what I'm going to do. So if I had done, if I had done, if I had scored the full half an inch, it would have been in a little bit too much. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it there 
and I'm going to miter my corners and get the tape in and do all that. So I have that pocket in and put my black construction tape down there. So I'm just going to, do I want to pull those? Yes, I think I'm going to, yeah, yes. So we can pull these. that pocket on. That looks good. Can't see it, <laughs> but it's on. So what you're going to do with this pocket, this piece comes from the edge of this up on top. So when you have the, the patterns and solids, this is going to be much bigger. This is the piece you're going to be using to do in the pocket and it's just a continuous piece and then I slip it under under there to about right here and then I finish it off with this piece that has the the green so there's a part of it that has that green at the bottom so it kind of is a continuation of the green of the, the water down here so you're going to cut this piece if you want to start down here and then continue it all the way up like that. So that's your pocket. Then what I wanted to do was make a little tag that fits in here. So it, it gives you the continuation of the elephant. So this piece measures two and a quarter inches and what I did is I wanted to make sure it lined up with the elephant so the height of mine depending on how you cut your paper is six and a quarter inches tall so what I did is I just figured out where I wanted it to be and then trimmed off the bottom so I can get this lined up with the elephant. And I use the rest of the paper to cover this from this eight by eight. So it's like that. Lovers of nature journal, so they all line up like that. So that is the, the eight by eight piece right there. That goes in here. And then I just pulled one of these little tags, I haven't finished this, I pulled one of those little tags from the 8x8 and just matted it on some 80 pound craft card stock, cut it, inked it, and then I'll add something down here. But for now, that's just going to go under here like that. So that's it for this page. Not a very complex page. Um, this isn't that hard. <laughs> Once you do it, it's not that hard. So we're finished with this page. Now we're on to going on to the giraffe page. 